Alzheimer's is a progressive disease where symptoms gradually worsen over the years. Treatment can help, but there is no cure at this time. You have the opportunity to learn more on November 17th at the third annual Alzheimer's Day in RVA, presented by the Rick Sharp Alzheimer's Foundation. Here to tell us more is the founder of the organization, Sherry Sharp, and we welcome her back to Virginia this morning. Always great to see you, Sherry. Good morning. Good morning, Bill. Thank you for having me. Um, I really appreciate it. You know, a lot of us have been touched by Alzheimer's, and I know that uh, a lot of folks st in Richmond still remember your husband, who was quite a guy, and um, this disease took him away from you and us, and is that why you decided to go ahead and take action and start this foundation? It is. Um, well, for Richard, it was way too early for him. It's never a good time for anyone, certainly not to be taken out with Alzheimer's disease. But in 2010, uh, Richard was diagnosed with younger onset Alzheimer's disease. And after his death in 2014, in an effort to invest in research, I joined the board of Cure Alzheimer Fund, which is located in Boston. And then in 2016, together with some of our friends and uh, some of the business acquaintances and Alzheimer's and friends from all the Alzheimer's communities, we formed the Rick Sharp Alzheimer's Foundation as a way to continue raising funds to further support Alzheimer's research. Um, Bill, we're a nonprofit working uh, as advocates for researchers and those living with the effects of Alzheimer's. Um, our fundraising goes directly to research. And so far we've been able to raise $2 million to donate every penny toward those efforts. Wow, $2 million. Now is that all tied into Alzheimer's Day RVA or is this something you've done year round? I know you're working all the time. Well, we, um, it, it's not just on that particular day. Of course, we get funds, you know, from people uh, and we're so happy to take whatever donations anybody is able to send our way. And then we funnel it out to those um, researchers and, um, you know, places like Johns Hopkins and University of Virginia, just to name a couple. Uh, to help with their research because we believe they're doing some wonderful work. I guess I should have started with this and I, I just assume people knew your husband um, because I did and uh, he was quite the guy in the Richmond area. Give us a little background on, on Richard Sharp. Well, um, Richard and I grew up together in Northern Virginia. We went to high school together, so we were uh, the typical high school sweethearts. Um, and we got married very early on. He was he did was not a college graduate, but he was brilliant and just really wanted to be involved with computers. And so um, when we first got married, he was in the Air Force. And after that stint, he uh, started his own company. And um, after that, uh, Circuit City was one of his customers. And uh, after he sold his company sometime back in the early 1980s, uh, Circuit City asked him to come and run Circuit City stores. And of course, he said, I know nothing about retail. Um, but, but as they say, the rest is history. He came, he had a wonderful team, but they took, they took Circuit City from about 300 million to a multi-billion dollar company within 20 years. A brilliant mind and Alzheimer's uh, obviously had to be very hard for you. And so you've raised all this money uh, and, and done all this good. What can folks expect uh, with Alzheimer's research in the months and days to come? Well, there are lots of wonderful researchers out there, and I can promise people that, you know, they're constantly working on this. Um, you know, today there are well over five and a half million people who suffer from Alzheimer's. 
And, uh, you know, I look at the pandemic, which is why we're on Zoom, and I think of the number of people who've been affected. And if you think of that in the numbers, um, it's really tragic that so many people die from Alzheimer's disease. Um, but our aspect uh, of Alzheimer's disease in RBA, as we call it, is presenting the science. And in the past, we've always tied it into a fundraising component to, to fund that science. Um, we've had talks with doctors and best-selling authors through our events. We've had silent auctions and fashion shows and golf tournaments. Uh, and since we are all living with this uncertainty of the pandemic, it became necessary to make our 2020 a virtual event, um, but it's still so very important that this research continue. Sherry, it is uh, always wonderful talking to you. Thank you for all you've done for all of us. You mentioned that, that millions of people that are affected by it. And of course, all of them had loved ones and family and they're affected as we all know very much. The third annual Alzheimer's Day in RVA is a virtual event this year and it's happening Tuesday, November 17th from seven till 8 p.m. If you want more information on how you can register, please visit Rick Sharp, alz.org.